Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how to fix when your internet stops working when you start mobile hotspot. So whenever you turn this on, you face problem with the Wi-Fi or your internet. Now, to fix this, first of all, uninstall recently install update. So whichever Windows update has been installed recently, uninstall that update and then hide the that particular update to fix the problem. Now, for this, go to the start menu, then click on settings. Now, the process remains same for Windows 10 or Windows 11 computer. Now, for this, click on update and security in Windows 11, click on Windows update. Now, click on view update history and then click on uninstall update. Now, select the update which is giving you the problem. Now, whichever update was recently installed and you started facing the problem, you have to select that update and then click on uninstall, then click on yes. And after the uninstall, restart your computer. Now, after you uninstall it, you have to hide that particular update because it will install automatically next time when you restart your computer. So to hide the update, uh, you can copy this link. The link is provided in the video description. I have shown the steps on how to uninstall and hide the updates. So on this uh, video, you can learn how to uninstall the update and hide that particular update on your windows computer now the process remains same for windows 10 and 11 users so you can follow the same process and the name of the update is different over here so ignore the update name the process remains same so uninstall that update and then hide the update now after you hide the update you can turn on the mobile hotspot and you should not face the problem with the connectivity now if you don't want to uninstall or if you don't want to hide the update in that case you can also pause the op you can use the pause option so in windows update you have an option to so after first of all you have to uninstall it uninstall is necessary after you uninstall it you can simply go to pause updates and you can select for seven days one week so you can select the update so you can click on pause update for seven days and after seven days, you can resume the updates. Now, next step is to install next update. So in Windows 10, after installing this KB5014699, I started facing this problem. Now Microsoft may release next update, which might take care of the problem. So always install the next update if available. So in Windows 10, I will show you after installing this update that is kb let me show you kb5014666 so after installing this update my problem was fixed so you can also install the next update if available so for windows 10 user installing this update has fixed the problem so for windows 11 users also if you see any another update if you see next update install it and then restart your computer that should fix the problem so click on check for update you can always click on check for update and if there is any update available in here it is so install this update so click on check for update and install the next update and then restart your computer and the problem should be fixed now the next step is to update your windows 10 or 11 using update assistant or in windows for Windows 10 users, you can copy this link. For Windows 11 users, copy this link. Open these links. All the links are provided in the video description. For Windows 10 here, you can see here you can see Update Assistant. For Windows 11, it's called Windows 11 Installation Assistant. So click on Update now, and then run this .exe file. Click on Yes to allow. It will open Windows 10 Update Assistant. If there is any update, click on Update. You will see the Install option after the installation restart your computer and then check in windows for windows 11 users click on download now for this windows 11 installation assistant then run this exe file click on yes to allow and this will load windows 11 installation assistant and if there is any update this computer actually does not meet the system requirement to run windows 11 but for windows 11 users you can run this tool and if there is install option update your windows 11 using windows 11 installation assistant and then restart your computer and then the problem should be fixed. Now the last step is to use media creation tool to update Windows 10 or 11.
if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to get your internet working whenever you turn on the mobile hotspot so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel